Hi, this is Drake, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the 2D plan in Martin MPC or Onyx software. The 2D plan, or sometimes referred to as the layout view, basically lets you see the fixtures, how they are on the stage, and you can arrange them however you want. But it uh, also gives you um, a visual cue on like what they're doing, whether they're on or color, or if they're running a chase, you can actually see it. It's very helpful in some rigs that get so big you can't actually physically see all your fixtures from front of house. So it allows you to see a little bit more and it can be super helpful for programming. So let's uh, dive in and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's our software like you've seen in the other videos. This is the same layout. And over here on the left hand side, you have the window for 2D plan. Uh, this is, comes built into the software. And as you can see, I have my Vipers here. You can select them. And if you look in the middle there, you can see that their intensity turns on and turns off the white fills in there. Um, so let's clear our console. So I'm going to show you how to add fixtures to this. Uh, you can do it in multiple ways um, and you can move them around however you want to on the window. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to your groups and select what group of fixtures you want to store in there. So we're going to select our LED parts here and then you have to go back to your 2D plan and this little button here that says live, you click that and it changes it to edit. I feel like it should be the other way around, but <laughs> that's how it works. Um, and then you click the add button right here, the big plus. Now, this gives you um, a list of things that you can add and how to add them. We're going to st stick on fixtures because that's what we're adding. And this is the add mode. So you can do things like a straight line, an S, a circle, a grid, um, or individually. This is super helpful because it can keep them straight for you and you're not like, individually placing them. So I usually select the line or the grid and then click place fixtures. Now nothing shows up because you actually have to draw your line of where you want them. So I'm going to start over here and uh, we're going to click here and as you can see as I draw out and move my mouse it's placing the fixtures on the grid and I usually try to lock keep the line straight and lock them in between squares to keep it symmetrical. Boom. Um, when you let go your line appears. Now you can click out of the edit mode and it goes away and now you can see your other fixtures here. Now you can edit the names of these fixtures um, and then you can select them. Most everything that you do is in this edit mode here. Um, there's an align tool and a delete tool so we can actually select them all. Let's select all of our vipers and we can click delete. Confirm delete. Whoops, I clicked cancel. There we go, confirm and I deleted them. Um, here's our rename tool here. Uh, this is actually renaming the page. So we can do LED pars. Um, the cool thing is, is that you can have these pages down here. So you can have your LED pars page and here's one through eight. And you can add another page, um, which I just added two there. And when you go to the page, you can rename that to, let's say, Vipers. Um, so as you can see down here in the bottom, you can have multiple pages of different types of fixture groups to select through so you're not um, having a ton of fixtures on one. You can do that if you like. It can get a little confusing. Um, I like to spread them out by fixture groups down here. And one quick tip, um, when you're not in your edit window, so it looks black like this, if you click and hold your right click button on your mouse, you can drag these around wherever you want to and then use the uh, scroll wheel to zoom. So if you have a few like I do, you can actually zoom them in quite big. Um, and then it's just click and drag to select them all or you can click them individually. Um, another quick tip is there is a highlight button located right here. So you can highlight those fixtures uh, quickly without having to do anything down here. Um, in this program window or on the console, you could click it right there if you want to. Um, so those are just a couple quick tips. So that was a basic rundown of the 2D plan. I hope that made a lot of sense for you guys. And if you want to see more, make sure to check out our other videos.